Uh, this clinical vignette features a patient with some underlying chronic kidney disease who is then exposed to intravenous contrast and develops acute kidney injury. What is unique about this patient is approximately two and a half days after contrast exposure, she has a non-contrasted imaging study, a CT scan, which shows retained contrast in her kidneys. Now, in the right context, like in this situation, retained contrast after so many hours after exposure in association with kidney injury is highly suggestive of contrast-associated acute kidney injury. In addition, this lady had a low fraction of excretion of sodium and a low urinary sodium, all consistent with urinary indices seen in contrast-associated nephropathy. Finally, this all fits with the pathophysiology of what we think of AKI in this setting, which is intense vasoconstriction. Because of this intense vasoconstriction, contrast is retained in the kidney, and only after many more days is the contrast excreted. So in the right context, this clinical scenario is highly suggestive, if not pathognomonic, of contrast-induced nephropathy.